Okay, so today we're going to be creating a spreadsheet. I'm sorry, we have a spreadsheet. We're going to be creating a column chart. In this column chart, we're going to compare the contribution of each individual employee right here in Region 1 for the months of January, February, and March. Okay, so we're going to start by first selecting from B3 over to E8. So this is our range. Yours will be on the home ribbon. So then you're going to go to the insert ribbon. You're going to go over here to charts. And then we're just going to click the um, cluster chart. See when you scroll over it. Now it doesn't want to do it. There we go. This shows up as a stack chart. I'm sorry, stack column. This is a 100% stack column. These are some 3D charts. They're kind of cool, I guess. I don't like these because it would be kind of challenging to read. You wouldn't be able to read this at a quick glance. You'd have to like give it your undivided attention to figure that one out. Um, but we can play a little bit. We'll go with the 3D clustered column, which is the same thing as the 2D clustered. It's just got a little more dimension to it. Okay, so you've selected your stuff, um, and you've clicked on the insert, the 3D cluster column. Okay, so up here in this little ribbon, it automatically, when you have your chart selected, comes up on the design tab. So you see all kinds of neat little things up here. So we can change the whole color scheme. And you get a preview of it just by scrolling over it. That's kind of neat. Gives it more of the dimensional look. But I kind of like the black. It's a really good contrast. But if you notice, you can't see your X and Y legends. And I tend to like those. So we'll go over here to Style 3. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make this really big. So you can see what we're doing. No, that's a little bit too big. But I can move it up. So I'm just resizing it so you can see it all in one window. Okay, so right now you can look at it and you see the emphasis is on each employee. Well, I want the emphasis to be on the month, not each employee for the month. I want the emphasis to be on the month solely. So we're going to do a couple of things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to edit the chart title. Now to do that, you simply click on it, left click, and then you can highlight the text. We're going to change it to Region 1 Sales Comparison. And then you click anywhere outside of the chart um, to make that confirmed. So you're going to select your chart again. And if you notice, there's three little buttons over here. If you click the plus sign, there's all kinds of stuff comes up. Comes up all the chart components. You know, we talked about those little handy things. So we want to add some access titles. I'm sorry, axes titles. So those are pretty nice and neat. We also want to add some data labels because you see here, you can just tell this is over 50, but it's under 60. This one's between 30 and 40. Sorry. So we're going to check data labels. On the right side of data labels, if you scrolled over it, a little arrow appears. So click that little arrow. And we're going to click on more options. So now it comes up with all kinds of goodies. So we're going to click text options. We want no fill, label options. Can't find what I was looking for. I'll find it again in a moment. Oh, it's here. So you click the paintbrush. And this is where you can change colors as well. I want to put it back. There we go, the color I had it. 
Okay, so I'm still trying to find how to put that inside there since we're in 2013 now. So you have these labels selected. Um, you just click one, like when I, you see when I clicked here on uh, the blue, it selects all the blue, which is all of January. You see this little button looks like a filter. You're going to click that. And the first thing we're going to do, let me move this up so you can see a bit better. Click the filter. See it comes up. You can barely see it maybe down here. We're going to switch. Let me move it down. There we go. We're going to select the data. And we're going, it comes up right here so you can select the data source. I like my data source. The data source is the information I need, but I want the emphasis to be on the month and not the employee. So we're going to click switch row column. And if you notice, it instantly switched it, and we're going to click OK. I like this because the emphasis is on the month, and then you can very easily tell who sold the most that month. Okay, now let's get back to this. Data labels. Label options. Value from cells. Nope. I just had this in there. Aha. I knew it was in here somewhere. So if you're here or here, under label options, you're going to click to the left where it says size and properties. And I'm going to create a custom angle. Vertical alignment is middle. Text direction is horizontal, which is good. But custom angle, I want it to be kind of diagonal up a little bit. So I've got to select each series to do that. I should have paid attention to the angle I chose. Negative 15. So I can actually click here and then just go to negative 1, 5. Hand key it in so it's all consistent and it's all the same. See how awesome is that? Okay, label options. Now I want to move it down into the... stuff. I want to move it down into the... So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it the hard way by physically moving every one of them. Nobody's got time for that silliness. Mm -mm. Now, where is that? There we go. Vertical alignment. Middle centered. Well, if this isn't just aggravating, I just had it. That's okay, it'll be fun. Okay, so the axis title here, this is what? This is the um, sales in thousands so you're gonna click if you're over here or even if you're not in the chart selected you click on access title and then you should be able oh no it's okay nothing a backspace can't cure okay so you click here you double click it and then it, you can edit it so this is the sales and I'm going to specify, is it thousands, is it hundred thousands? Remember, you have to be very specific. And down here, this is months, correct? So I'm going to type in months. Okay, and here's the legend. I just like the legend at the bottom. 
because I'm a very, I don't always look to the right, but I could look here and see, see I added the data labels because it makes it so much easier to see and go, okay, so in February, Dell, or Denise, she outsold Everett, and she outsold Everett by $10,000. So you can see using the um, image that she outsold, and then you can use the data label to figure out how much she outsold. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and that pretty much sums up how you can do the um, column chart for this. It's pretty easy. And then there is your column chart. We're just touching briefly on it. I do hope you'll be using it again in the future. So if you do, this is your thing. So I need you to save this and submit it. You can have it on top of it, beside it, just as long as it's visible um, so that you submit when you submit your work. So save it to your Google Drive and submit it on Core Sites for Grading. Have a great day.